the next step season seven has been officially announced. It's been officially confirmed that there is a season seven of the next step and if you're a stepper like me you'll be just as excited. Hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is wait no oh. hello everyone welcome back to my channel Hello everyone, welcome to Mucking Gariana 3. It's Sunday, which means a new video. My name's Alicia, and today we're going to be doing a Dance Mums themed... No. And today... Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mucking Gariana 3. It's Sunday, which means a new video. This video was requested by a few people, but specifically some cast members of The Next Step, which sounds pretty unbelievable because it is quite unbelievable. I'm not I'm not lying, it just sounds a bit surreal. Um, basically on my last video that I uploaded, someone commented that Miles Dobson was talking about my channel in a little Instagram group chat with some fan pages. And I was like, oh, who's this Miles Dobson? So I started looking him up and I saw that he was a new cast member of The Next Step for season seven. So I was like, this is big. Then he replied, to that comment and was like, I'm Miles Dobson and I approve this message. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> this is getting like big. Then last night, Friday the 13th of September, which I thought, you know, it might be an unlucky day, turned out to be one of the best days probably of my life so far. And I think I'll probably remember it forever. Um, I was watching a live stream by Miles Dobson and he was doing it in the green room with Sage and Shelby and also Maddie was there for a little bit, but then she left. Um, that's Summer, Amy and Winnie. They were there in the green room as well. And I was kind of, I was messaging, but as I was on my personal Instagram, like they didn't know it was mocking Ariana. So I was asking questions and stuff and he would answer them. And then somebody asked, how did you prepare for the role or something for the next step? And he said that he, he was advised to do as much research as possible. So he watched lots of Mocking Gariana videos and read some Wattpad stories. And I was like, I'm watching this and <laughs> they're talking about me, but they don't know it's me and I don't know I'm watching. So I commented, Mocking Gariana 3 is here. And he read it and he was like, Mocking Gariana 3 is here? No, she's not. And I said, I am. <laughs> and he was like, oh she's here and then the comments started going crazy and everyone was like oh my god mocking around and I was like I, am I famous like what what's going on and the thing that got me the most was um Maddie who plays Winnie she was commenting at the same time as me and she was like I'm mocking Ariana and not believing that it was me and then when she realized it was me she was like oh my god I can't believe this so yeah, basically the next step, know about my channel pretty like vividly. So if you're watching this, um, Miles, Maddie, Shelby wasn't there when they said it actually. So I don't know if Shelby knows. I, Sage wasn't there either. She was doing her talking heads. Um, but Maddie and Miles, hello. Also, after they were talking, Carter who plays um, Heathcliff, he then came in and Miles was like, guess who's watching the live stream? It's Mocking Ariana. And he started freaking out. And I was like, why are they freaking out over me? Like, I should be freaking out over them. And I was, but it, it was just mad. Like, we're having a casual conversation in the comments. And he really wanted a, like, 20-minute video all about Heathcliff. <laughs> um, so, unfortunately, I won't be doing one of those today. But if you're watching this, Carter, then hi. And hello to Miles and... Um, Maddie as well. Um, it's a bit surreal that the next step casts watched my video. And also I was really paranoid then because he was on about my black hole video and I was like, what have I said in that video? Have I offended anybody or anything? Um, but I think I'm all good to go. <laughs> um, so after that little fangirl introduction, let's get started on what my predictions are for the next step season seven now that we've had more clues, official photos and just general news. Ugh, I've got the laptop here. I actually had a dream um, the night that season seven was announced. I was watching the first episode of season seven and I hated it. Basically, they were doing that opening dance. Jackie wasn't there. And then Jackie came in and said she was leaving. 
she got into a little car and drove away. Kenzie then said she had a big announcement and for some reason we all thought that it would be like she's announcing a new relationship or something but then she said she was leaving as well so then she got in a car and drove away. Um, I remember that there was nearly no scenes in season in Studio A whatsoever and we were all fuming about that because it didn't seem like the next step at all and they'd done pretty much every scene about the new characters and we didn't even know what was happening with the old ones and it was just a big mess and we all hated it so I'm hoping season 7 will be brilliant. So as for the storyline of season 7 it will well I'm guessing it will obviously be about nationals because the next step have just won regionals so the whole storyline's main plot will be preparing for nationals and ultimately the end of the season will be them either winning or losing nationals. I feel like other storylines that will be included in season seven will be the whole dance captaincy decider um, people deciding no people in new relationships and existing relationships like you know just general the next step relationship drama um but also I think there'll be a big kind of emphasis on what the characters are going to do with their futures because obviously Noah left at the end of season six spoilers um and he decided his future and also at the end of that season Michelle was like I don't know what I want from my future I don't know whether I want to be studio head anymore so she is possibly leaving we don't know if Jackie's leaving I feel like in particular Rochelle will consider her future and possibly want to leave as well I'm kind of hoping she does because I wanted to go to bigger and better things but fingers crossed she'll be in majority of the season because there is so many new cast members I feel like a lot of them are going to be from other teams kind of like when in season two they did the challenge to audition new members for their team so hopefully old members aren't going to get kicked off the team oh that could be why Jackie goes actually maybe Jackie gets kicked off for some reason but yeah I feel like people will definitely audition to get on the team and a new A troop will be formed I also feel like a lot of these dancers could be from Encore which was Miss Angela's studio that she was leading um so Lily because I know that Katie Hortensio is in this season and just new characters so they need to come from somewhere if you get me. I have a feeling that Dylan and Berkeley Ratzlaff won't be in this season or they'll only be in maybe the first episode. I have a feeling that Jackie will leave to be with Noah even though they kind of broke up the last season I feel like they'll say oh Jackie and Noah got back together and now Jackie's gone with Noah across the world or something and I feel like Davis will just not come back to the next step because she left on such a bad note even though Encore didn't win I feel like she'll stay there or go back to their original studio that she was at. The thing that got me though yesterday was on Miles Dobson's Instagram live people were asking him if he'd met different cast members and someone asked him if he'd met Miles Ehrlich who obviously plays Noah and he said that he had and I was thinking well Miles is filming West Side Story the film um, in New York and he's not really around Toronto that much because Briar and Miles often post that they're missing each other and Briar's obviously in Toronto doing the next step and other things um, so the only way he would have been able to see Miles during his time filming the only way Miles would have got to see Miles is if he was either visiting, just seeing the studio, seeing the production, seeing Briar or being in a scene. So I feel like Noah will have a cameo appearance, either helping to choreograph or just a one-off scene. Maybe he comes to get Jackie or maybe he comes to... what's happening here? Or maybe he comes to talk to Rochelle. I don't know, but I feel like Miles Ehrlich will definitely be in at least one episode in season seven. In terms of the dance captaincy, I feel like Rochelle will definitely be dance captain again. If not, then I'm going to be quite angry because I feel like when she had it in season five, she didn't have it for very long and she didn't get much of an opportunity to do it to her fullest potential, especially as now she's kind of conquered her emotional barrier and she is the kind of best dancer she's ever been. I think it'd be a perfect chance for her to have the role again and really try and lead the team. I do think though Rochelle will feel quite alone this season and she might have a storyline to do with loneliness because obviously she doesn't have a boyfriend anymore, she broke up with Elliot and if Jackie's not in the season she doesn't have a best friend because they were kind of, it was left on a cliffhanger that they'd probably get quite close in season 7 but now Dylan doesn't seem to be in it so I, 
she doesn't have a friend. She has Ozzy, who she was getting quite close to, but I don't think they'll have a huge best friend kind of relationship because I just don't think they get on that well. I think they're just both kind to each other when they need each other rather than being like best mates. So I think Rochelle will have quite a sad few episodes again. And I could also see her bonding with Emily over the fact that she's kind of only the only original dancer left and Emily's one of the only original characters. And I feel like they'll bond a bit over this, maybe have a sad talk about how Emily's missing Michelle and Rochelle's missing Noah and just everyone that used to be on the next step because now it's a completely new cast. But also, I think that if Lily does join the next step instead of being at her mom's studio, she might get close with Rochelle because they did start to show some personality similarities. And obviously when Rochelle was trying to trick Lily, Lily thought that she was being her friend. So I think they could pick that up again and be friends, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. I think this definitely might be Rochelle's last season as well because obviously she's older now. She's gonna be 18 in this season if Noah left when he was 18 in season six. Um, they're about the same age, so this probably will be Brian LA's last season on the next step, I think. In terms of the studio head, I think Emily will definitely be studio head still, even if it is by herself. I don't think Kate will be in the season much, if at all, because I don't think the next step need to touch Emily being studio head. Like, she's perfect at the role, everyone loves her, there's no kind of conflict needed. Like, Emily's the next step studio head, she just is the person that they need. So I think that will definitely just stay the same. I think the potential though, is that Miles Dobson's character will be uh, either an assistant or a choreographer for Emily because they had a photo together in the office and that could literally just be that he stopped Alex Beaton when she was in the office and they just had a selfie. But if the scene was in the office and he's a brand new character and he's not a dancer because people were asking him about his dance classes and he was like, I haven't had any dance classes and he is an actor on his IMDB page. But yeah, I think Miles Dobson will be in some way afflicted with Emily's character and have some sort of management role because he's not a dancer. So he's pretty much just gonna be an actor. So he must just have that kind of role. I also think that, um, eh, <laughs> I spoke about Michelle leaving earlier and I think that Victoria will be in season seven. She did a post on Instagram, which was like um, seven years of my life has been spent on this show. Even though it has been more than seven years actually because of the amount of breaks in between each season, but you know, I'm not gonna ruin her sad post. Um, so she's given, thanks to the show so i'm guessing she is in season seven otherwise she would have thanked it at the end of season six if you get me because she would have known whether she was going to continue her contract over i think anyway don't hold me to that but i think she will definitely be in at least a few episodes of season seven and i'd really love it if even if she's not working with emily their friendship is still very much alive and emily mentions her every now and again and just yeah michelle's still present even though she's not there i also think that if michelle does i'm literally like attached to my hair by nothing look look at this <laughs> um i also think that if michelle is leaving season seven she deserves a send-off that was as good as noah's obviously noah got wish you well sung to him he had a really emotional episode he hasn't he had an oh, oh my god i can't speak he had a whole episode with rochelle um, and obviously Rochelle was like his day one companion. He had um, t-shirts made for his birthday with his face on. Like I think Michelle, especially she's been on the show longer than Miles. Like even though he was in season one as well, she was in the first episode while Miles wasn't. I feel like Michelle definitely would deserve a send off like that. So I'm hoping they give her a really, really good one. One thing that I really liked about season six was that we were reintroduced to J Troop and B Troop. And that is the one thing that I said I really didn't like about season four and five because we just didn't see the rest of the studio really. It was all just about drama and relationships. And it was very much focused on just A Troop, even though that's what the show is meant to be about. It's nice to see the other characters that we know exist, but just aren't on screen. Um, so season six, they were back. And in season seven, I believe that they're all still there. We know for definite that Presley, Winnie and Heathcliff will be in the season. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing them. 
Um, I think that Presley will be moved up to B troop. I have a feeling because she's looking very much more mature and she looks like she is a B trooper rather than a J trooper now. So it'd be nice if we see a whole B troop again, like when they did their Legions of Lasers dance and there was a whole B troop. It'd be nice if we see Presley dancing with Winnie and Heathcliff. I feel like they'll also have more of a presence this season and not just be related to Ozzy in terms of a storyline. I feel like Winnie might have a storyline of her own or Heathcliff might. And also I'd quite like it if Winnie and Heathcliff kind of, you know, had a little thing between them because I think they'd look really cute. If we analyze the photo that the next step uploaded and is the official photo for season seven, you'll notice that Amy is sitting on the floor with the rest of the A Troopers. So I think she will definitely rejoin A Troop seeing as she went to Acro Nation and Acro Nation lost originals to the next step i think everyone would welcome amy back with open arms i know that i i would feel like oh amy can't come back to the next step because we we I'm, I'm not on the team um she is a great asset to the team and i think you know she was just exploring her other options so definitely amy will be back i think also at regionals michelle brought amy aside and was like you've proved yourself that you are a featured dancer you're not just a backup dancer so i think michelle will definitely reel this on to emily and emily will agree so they'll just let amy on no problem basically but i think this might cause a bit of conflict with some people uh, maybe pretend maybe b troopers that want to move up to a troop they'll be like well amy left so she's not committed to the team whereas we are we've always been at the next step so I think it might cause some conflict, but ultimately I think Amy will definitely just be on A Troop again. Also, if Amy joins the next step again, I'm hoping, 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 hoping that we will get an Amy and Rochelle duet. We, what well, I say we, but I have wanted a Rochelle and Amy duet forever. Like they're both acro dancers and we don't get enough acro duets really. It's always contemporary or hip hop or something like that. And I feel like they're always paired together with people who it would have the most drama or on screen like it would keep the viewers interested rather than actually just being complimentary styles and amy and rochelle have never danced together really so i really want to see an acro duet because they're both pretty much on the same level i think they can do everything that each other does so yeah i'm hoping that there is an amy and rochelle duet with regard to relationships i think that the relationships that will stay on the next step are potentially jackie and noah i think they might get back together and then go off and live happily ever after um i don't think summer and henry will stay together i feel like that'll be cut short and they'll realize they're better as friends and either henry will get with amy or them two would just be friends as well i don't know i'd much prefer henry and amy to be together but i also just like how they're all friends like i like the boy girl relationship that amy and henry have as friends so maybe they just rebuild that and they just be friends again i don't know but i don't think henry and summer will last other relationships um Piper and Finn, I think Piper and Finn will definitely end up a couple by the end of season seven. Also, talking about Piper, Piper's hair has finally changed. It's no longer up in a bun. And I love that because it's been in a bun pretty much since season four. And I'm like, let your hair down, Piper. Like you're so pretty with your hair down. Even if it was in a ponytail, I don't know why they didn't switch it up from season four. Um, I mean, Alexandra might've had her own reasons for that, but Piper's hair is down in that picture. So I'm hoping we get to see a little bit more of a mature Piper, like she's grown a bit. And also Finn's hair looks a bit curly. So everyone's just got new hair in this season and I love it. But you know, back to the point, I hope Pin becomes an official couple. Talking about hair though, Kenzie's hair is also giving me life. I love the natural curls, even if it is a weave or something, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a natural hair, but it looks pretty natural. I'm hoping that Kenzie gets her own storyline because I know there was a few episodes where Emily was not, Emily who plays Kenzie, by the way, um, Emily was not in them. Like I rewatched season six and I was like, how many episodes is Kenzie not in? Um, I can't remember what the reasons are for this. I don't know whether she was just away or whether she was busy with other commitments, but I'm hoping that Kenzie will be in the whole of season seven and manage to have her own storyline that doesn't revolve around someone else. Because what it was in season six was pretty much just about her being Davis's friend and not liking the fact that Jackie made Davis leave. 
So I'm hoping she'll get more of a serious, you know, personality driven storyline. And also I think there's potential for her and Kingston to get together because they went to prom together as friends to Kingston's high school prom. Um, but yeah, like, why not have Kenzie and Kingston together? Like, that would just be great. I think that'd be such a good match. And off screen, um, Noah and Emily are such good friends. I think it would just really work and they'd have such good chemistry. The ending of season seven, I feel like the next step might lose nationals because I feel like with season one and two, it was kind of inevitable that they'd have a season three because that's not that many seasons. But to have eight seasons of a show, that's quite ambitious. So I don't know whether they'll kind of have season seven as the last season and just not have it renewed again by having the next step lose nationals and have to start again. Um, but obviously if they win then they'll have to have an international season but I think if they lose it would give the characters a lot more to go off rather than just having to carry on for another year I think especially for Rochelle if the next step lose nationals she'll then have her mind made up of like right well I'm gonna go and be like Noah and pursue better things and just leave the next step and move on and also like I think just because I think this current A troop, like the season six's A troop, is one of the best. And I think people have really grown to love those characters, like Finn, Kenzie. Um, who else was new that season? Finn and Kenzie, Lily. It'll come to me, it'll come to me. Summer, Summer, Summer was the new A Trooper. So Summer, Finn and Kenzie came and we pretty much loved them straight away and they fitted in really well. So I feel like they wouldn't want to switch up the A Troop again too much. And I feel like giving them a proper ending this season would be very good if we find out what they're going to move on to next, especially for the older characters like Henry, Michelle. I'm not sure how old Summer and everyone else is meant to be. I know that Piper is still like got a couple of years left on A Troop. Um, if she's going till she's when she's 18 but I don't know I feel like they kind of need to wrap it up in some way otherwise it's just going to keep going on forever and eventually the show is just going to go downhill if they keep having to recycle plot lines and recycle characters and recycle dances and just I'd rather it go out on a high than go out because no one wants to see it anymore do you know what I mean I'd rather the show actively decide there isn't going to be no more seasons than have it say no one's renewed the show nobody wants it so we can't do another season and we've just left it on a cliffhanger like I would hate if that happened because I'd just have to like shoot the next step myself on my little camera and be like talk 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 I'll film it and I'll put it on the internet like I'd have to do something um Anyway, I've strayed away from the point I was trying to make. Um, if the next step loses nationals in season seven, Rochelle would have a reason to leave. And I feel like she should leave this season. Um, otherwise, she's just staying on for longer than she needs to. I feel like Emily would have a whole year as studio head to herself and she's already settled in fine. So she could have a nice good year, a good send off and have people remember her character as being, you know, dance captain, co-captain, studio head, and just ultimate, you know, Emily is the next step along with Michelle. Yeah, basically, I think they should lose nationals and this should be the last season. Even as much as I want a season eight, I just want it to go out on high rather than go on for too long. Not sure. If they win nationals though, and season seven becomes one of my favorite seasons, sure. I want a season eight. I want a season eight, nine, and 10. Um, as long as it stays up to the same quality as the other seasons because I'll be really quite sad if the show gets worse or it gets the quality becomes less than the quantity of seasons it has so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say I think um overall I think that characters will leave this season new characters will come in I think that there'll be relationship drama, dance drama, there will be competitions, dances, hopefully acro duets, um, there will be the same studio head, Emily will be happy, Rochelle will be relatively happy, everyone will be happy, 
it'll be a good season and I feel like season seven definitely will be one of the best seasons the next step has ever had hopefully anyway because I had big hopes for season six and season six did live up to its expectations so yes hopefully season seven will be the best season of the next step yet watch this space thank you to the next step cast as well for watching my videos i really appreciate it and it's kind of mad how you were fangirling over me when i should be fangirling over you literally um best of luck to miles dobson and the rest of the new cast of the next step i hope season seven does you justice and you do the season justice as well and i hope it's just great and the existing cast members like maddie and carter i hope that season seven is good to you and you know, Winnie and Heathcliff get a good storyline and they get good dances and that they're good characters. Um, yeah, that's all for me for this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week for a new video.